All right, the truck is turned on. I've got the power cables hooked up to the power outlets, two of them, wired into the inverter here. Got it plugged in here into kilowatt meter and the fan. All right, let's see what happens. All right. Looks like we got power to the inverter. Let's turn the fan on. Reading about 127 watts. One amp. Let's see how many amps are on the actual cables themselves. All right, I've got my amp clamp meter here. Let's put it on. Let's put it on 20 amp scale. Set this for DC. Zero it out. Let's see what we got. Got five amps on that one. Well, five point four on that one. And these power sockets, or the where it plugs in there, those are rated for fifteen amps. So I'm about one third power. Okay, 5.4, pretty close, 4.9, okay, all right, I got two shot fans going, and these are running exactly about 300 watts, and I can't Good. Okay. Let's take a look at the how many amps I'm drawing. Okay, and this one right here, I've got 12 amps. This one here, about 12.45 amps. This is about as high as I think I'm going to go with this inverter here and the wiring with the truck twelve amps there okay so this thing's putting out about three hundred watts this right here doesn't feel warm but like I said, that's about as that's about as high as I want to go. Actually, that is feeling kind of warm. Yeah, these are kind of warm. <clears throat> hmm. Probably not a good idea. Probably don't want to go any higher than 200, 250 watts. But I'm running 300 watts off those two power sockets right now. It's working. Yeah, that's getting warm. Alright, I just pulled these off and I want to see how hot the tip is. Yeah, too warm. Not good. Not good. Probably a stupid idea. <laughs> It'll work, but it'll probably burn stuff up. All right, I got three fans and a shop light running about 380 watts. This looks terrible. <laughs> All right, let's look at the kilowatt meter. Yep, about 380 watts. Voltage is good. Shot up to 420 there. Okay. 
inverter here. Connected on the back there. 31 amps. And this is hooked up to the battery directly. Engine is running. How about that? Okay, these cables work. However, these were very warm when I pulled them up. I don't know if it was the heat of the engine or what, but uh, I'm not really impressed. I think that uh, this will probably run full power real good, but I wouldn't do it for a long time. So I'm not really impressed with uh, you know the, the twin 12 volts power socket idea, and this really is not a bad idea. This is better. Than that you know running directly to the battery but uh, I don't think this cable is really that good this jumper cable this old jumper cable it's probably about four gauge but I don't think these clamps are making a good contact on the battery and causing a little bit of heat so without screwing up my truck and charging system and blasting fuses all over the garage I am not going to go any higher than 380 watts on this deal without doing a direct wire. I'm not really happy with either idea. So the best way to do an inverter is to get some you know pure copper you know like one gauge or whatever like I use in my buddy's truck and go directly instead of trying to fiddle fart and and uh, plug into sockets and using jumper cables. So don't recommend this at all. You know I got thinking with the modified jumper cables to inverter cable that I made you know that's much thicker wire than this and I wasn't comfortable with 400 watts through that uh, jumper cable and this cable is possibly about 8 gauge with thinner lug ends on it and smaller clamps so and it came with this 600 watt inverter I'm just not seeing you know anything's possible I guess but uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not saying that's a good idea either. I'm not saying anything against Ames power here, but uh, you know these might work. Yeah, that's eight right there. Yeah, I don't know. Jury's out on on these. I guess in a pinch, I guess it'll work. But uh, all right, there you go.